Hi! This screencast demonstrates how to install Java MA SDK plugins into NetBeans IDE and utilize advanced tooling of the Java ME8 platform. Before installing Java ME SDK plugins into NetBeans IDE, please make sure that the following prerequisites have been completed. Java ME SDK is installed on your machine, Java ME support is activated in NetBeans IDE, and Java ME SDK is registered in the IDE. You may want to watch the video of NetBeans IDE support or Java ME8 at netbeans.org for details. To install Java ME SDK plugins into NetBeans IDE, you need to download the Oracle Java ME SDK plugins for NetBeans file from the Java ME SDK download page, unpack the file to a directory on your machine, launch NetBeans IDE, and use NetBeans Plugins Manager. After you've downloaded and unpacked the Oracle Java ME SDK 8 plugins for NetBeans file, complete the following steps to install the plugins into NetBeans IDE. In NetBeans IDE, choose Tools, Plugins from the main IDE's toolbar. In the Plugins dialog box, click the Settings tab. Click Add to display the Update Center Customizer dialog box. In the Name field, enter Java ME SDK Plugins. Leave the Check for Updates Automatically option selected. In the URL field, use the file command to point to the location where you have unpacked your plugins. Click OK to add the Java ME SDK Plugins Update Center to the Settings tab. Ensure the Java ME SDK Plugins Update Center is selected and choose the Available Plugins tab. Select Java ME SDK Tools and Java ME SDK Demos and click Install. At the Welcome panel of the Installer dialog box, click Next. Review the License Agreement, click the Acceptance checkbox and click Install to begin the installation. When the installation is successfully completed, leave the Restart ID Now option selected and click Finish. After the ID restarts, you need to make sure the plugins you have installed are reactive. Choose Tools, Plugins to display the Plugins Manager. Click the Install tab, select the Show Details option and scroll to find the Java ME SDK Demos and Java ME SDK Tools plugins in the list. The green icon for the plugin to the left reflects the active status of the plugin. Click Close to close the Plugins Manager. After both the plugins are installed, you can take a look at Java ME Platform SDK Sample Projects, which highlight some of the technologies and APIs that are supported by the emulator. Choose File, New Project. In the New Project dialog box, expand the Samples category and choose Java ME SDK Adato. Java ME Sample Applications display in the Projects list on the right. Select Data Collection Demo and click Next. In the Name and Location page of the wizard, accept the default values for the project name location, etc., and click Finish. The data collection demo project is created and opened in the IDE. Let's run the project using the Java ME SDK emulator from the Java ME SDK Tools plugin. The plugin integrates Java ME utilities into the standard NetBeans IDE menus. For example, the Tools Java ME menu is the place to launch a set of tools including the device selector. The IDE displays the device selector window, where all available devices simulated by the Java ME SDK emulator are grouped by platform. Each subnode represents an emulator skin for a device. Embedded device 1 and embedded device 2 are two instances of a CLDC device. They have identical capability sets but unique phone numbers, making it easy to test communication between two devices. You can double-click any device node to open the Device Information tab in the IDE. 
and view such device details as supported runtimes and extensions. Right-click on a device and select the Data Collection Demo project to run from the context menu. In this demo, several data collector inlets read data from peripheral devices using the Device Input Output API and send the data to a data processor. Select all the inlets to run and click OK. Click Output to see the details of running your application. As an alternative, you can choose Window Output in the ID. When you are done, click Stop and close the device emulator. The Java MSDK Tools plugin enables you to use common profiling tasks such as CPU, memory, or network profiling. The plugin also integrates the Java ME tooling into the profiler Java ME menu, which is the place to work with the memory monitor and network monitor. To start a profiling session, right-click the Data Collection Demo project and choose Profile. In the Profile dialog box, leave CPU Profiler selected and click Run. The emulator opens with the Data Collection Demo application running. Run the inlets, interact with the application as needed, and exit the application. The IDE displays the profile data in the CPU snapshot window. Click the Info tab to view the summary of the session. The data collected during the emulation session can be saved for future reference. Well, that's all for the screencast. Thank you for watching.